The Afghan economy has been struggling for decades. Even before the Taliban took over, almost half the population lived in poverty and matters have been made worse since the group assumed power. Now, in the middle of Taliban's bid to seek international recognition, get access to millions of dollars worth of frozen funds, the people in South Asian nation are in desperation, forced to take extreme steps. Take a look. Scars across the abdomen are now common for Afghans. They are being forced to sell their organs to survive. While the country is already struggling with droughts and floods, it is the bitter cold which has devastated the most vulnerable. For the poorest, who have neither food or fuel, international aid organizations are their only hope. And whatever they can scrounge from the snowy streets. It's really very hard in Afghanistan right now and there are too many people like me who don't have a husband or a father to support them. Hundreds are flocking to the city of Herat for surgeries. The crisis has actually driven prices of organs down. Prices have gone down from 2,000 US dollars for kidneys to 1,500 US dollars. Others are contemplating even selling their children to survive. No one can tell me to sell my children, but we are struggling to keep them alive. And that's why we thought of selling them. Maybe it will be better for them and we get food for the other. Earlier this month, the United Nations launched its largest single country appeal to raise over 5 billion US dollars to help Afghanistan. It is estimated that roughly 90% of Afghans are dependent on aid and nearly 3 million are displaced in their own country. Bureau report, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.